Today I was in Bloxburg driving to the city when I saw a rich guy making fun of a homeless couple because they wanted to adopt a kid. He was being super mean to them. Okay, you guys, I am pulling over my car right now because I just drove past this super rich guy being mean to this homeless couple. I'm literally reading their messages in chat right now. Apparently, they just want to adopt a kid and Leon Fitz is saying that they are disgusting and homeless. They are literally being so mean. Leon said, you're evil for trying to adopt a kid when you don't even have a house. Mr. Wayfarer just said, hey, we may not be rich like you, but we could still give a child a good life. And honestly, that's true. You don't have to have a big giant house to be a good parent. Leon just said, well, that's one big fat lie. Oh, okay. I don't even know why he's bothering them, you guys. Leon said, you know what? Take this. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. He just, he just pushed that guy down. Okay, I cannot just stand around while he bullies this couple. I, I have got to do something. Okay. Hey, hey. Back up, back up. I'm just gonna say, leave them alone, okay? They they weren't even messing with you. Leon just said, who the heck are you? Uh, I don't think it's any of your business. He said, stop getting in my business, lady. Just going to say, leave them alone and get lost. He said, huh, how are you guys going to give a good life to a kid if you can't even protect yourself? Some random girl had to come and help you. Uh, hey, I, oh. Well, th that is not the point I was trying to make. That guy was such a jerk. I'm just gonna say, um, are, are, are you okay? He said, I'm okay. It was just a small fall. Well, I'm gonna say, don't, don't listen to that guy, okay? I'm sure y'all would be great parents. He said, maybe he's right. We're homeless after all. Maybe we don't deserve to have a family. I Guys, everybody deserves to have a family. Miss Wayfair said, thank you very much for helping us with that man. Uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, of course. She said, we'll get out of your hair now. Guys, I feel really bad for those two since they seem like really good people. And I don't want Leon Fitz's words to affect them so much, but honestly, I don't really know how I can help them. Wait, never mind. I think I just thought of a plan. All right, you guys, I am back in Bloxburg and I kind of just hung around in the city until I saw Mr. and Mrs. Wayfair and followed them back to where I guess this is where their home is. I don't really know you guys, but I followed them back here and now I am going undercover as a homeless kid so that I can get adopted by them, you guys. I know this is kind of weird, but I am trying to prove that they can be good parents so that mean rich guy's words won't matter to them anymore. All right, guys, I don't know if this is totally gonna work, but it's the only idea I had. So I'm just going to start putting in chat. Hello, is any one around i'm gonna say i'm a homeless kid and really need a family come on come on come on please guys i'm just gonna like kind of look around like i'm really lost oh oh wait i see them i see them oh my gosh oh my gosh there they are miss wayfarer just said oh my goodness and mr wayfarer said what is a child like you doing all alone uh i'm just gonna say uh well i uh was um uh, abandoned I, oh, I don't know, guys. I don't really have, like, a story. I'm just gonna say, uh, I was abandoned, and now I have nowhere to go. I just want a family. Miss Wayfair said, oh, dear, you poor sweetie. I mean, guys, they seem really nice. Come on. And they were looking to adopt a kid anyways. Miss Wayfair said, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I really want to adopt her, honey. Yes, yes, this is perfect. Mr. Wayfair said, adopt her? Oh, no. Guys, it doesn't seem like he's on board. He said, I want to, but what if we can't give her a good life? Okay, clearly that rich guy's words really did affect him, so I need to do whatever it takes to be adopted. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna say, uh, if, if you don't, I'll be all alone, and, and maybe I'll, I don't know, uh, maybe I'll, I'll get, a uh, kidnapped. And then, and you can't let that happen, right? Mr. Wayfarer said, what? No, no, we can't let something like that happen to you. We'll adopt you. Yes, yes, perfect. I feel a little bit bad about guilt tripping them, but it was the only way, okay? Now I can start gathering proof that they'd be great parents. Miss Wayfarer said, welcome to our family, little one. I'm going to say uh, thank you so much. She said, follow us back to our home. Oh, uh, okay. You guys, aren't aren't they homeless? What are, what, are you, what are they talking about? Follow them back to their home. Guys, I have no idea where this home of theirs is, but I'm really curious. I mean, I hope I'm right and these two end up being really good parents. So everything's pretty, pretty good so far. Oh, oh. 
All right, there's a fence and wait, uh, huh? What the heck is, is this? I mean, I, I don't really know what I was expecting, I guess. Ms. Wafer just said, here we are. Uh, I'm just gonna say, oh, oh, okay, uh, cool. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it just kind of looks like a bunch of junk lying around, but hey, they, they do have some sleeping bags over there, and, and oh, guys, I'm assuming that mattress is where they sleep. Mr. Wayfair just said, sorry about all the trash, but this is where we sleep. And Miss Wayfair said, we were actually trying to adopt a kid before you came along. So we've already prepared a place for you to sleep. Oh, I'm just gonna say, uh, great. Guys, clearly they were already prepared for a whole family. So wait, what? Why, why are they pointing at, at, at the mattress? I mean, there's two sleeping bags right here. Who said, here it is. Wait, they want me to sleep on the mattress? What? And they have to sleep in the sleeping bags? I'm just gonna say, uh, what about, what about y'all? Mr. Wayfair said, we'll sleep in the sleeping bags. Uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, wait, really? Mr. Wayfarer said, of course, you're our kid now. We want you to be as comfortable as possible. I'm just gonna say, OMG, thank you. Guys, that is so nice. And literally just that sacrifice alone is basically proof that they're good parents. Ms. Wayfair said, oh dear, I am getting hungry. He said, I should go find food soon before it gets darker. Mr. Wayfair said, that is a good idea. I'm just gonna say, uh, oh, uh, what are we having for dinner? He said, you'll find out soon, but first we have to go somewhere. Oh, okay. I guess we're going out for dinner and we are taking the, the bikes. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if I should be excited or nervous about this. Okay, you guys, we are riding up to the city right now, which is kind of confusing. I assumed that since they were homeless, I, we would like, I don't know, find food in the woods. or something. I don't really know, honestly, what I was thinking, but I guess we're going to dinner. Mr. Wayfarer just said, all right, some of the dumpsters around here should still have some fresh leftovers, so we'll split up to find food. Wait, uh, what? Mr. Wayfarer said, Eliza, you go with the missus. Uh, okay, I didn't really expect to go through the trash for food, but I guess I will just go along with it. Miss Wayfarer just said, yep, you follow me, little one. Okay. She said, I'll handle digging around in the dumpster. You can just sit tight. Uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, got it. Guys, okay, at least I don't have to go in, in the dumpster and I will just sit right over here. She said, I'll make sure to find something really yummy for you. Uh, sure. Um, guys, although eating food from a dumpster isn't ideal, I do appreciate how much effort they are putting in to try to try to find some good food. Whoa, whoa, oh no, oh no, wait. Bistro boss Bill just said, hey, get away from my dumpsters. Oh, oh gosh, uh, this must be the owner of the restaurant. He seems really mad. He said, I never gave you guys permission to dig through my trash. Uh, okay, well, it's just trash. Miss Wafer said, we're so sorry, sir. We're just really hungry. And Bill said, I don't care. Guys, he is such a jerk and... And he's, and he's, and he's looking even more mad, you guys. What the heck are we gonna do? He said, my customers complain when they see homeless people like you. So you're ruining my business. Oh no, guys, why is he getting closer? We're, we're, we're kind of cornered in here. Wait, whoa, Mr. Wayfair just said, stay away from my family and then knocked him down. Uh, looks like he can't protect his family after all, despite what that rich guy said. He said, let's get out of here before he wakes up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess we are going back to the bikes, guys. That was really intense. Okay, you guys, we made it back home and I'm so glad Mr. Wayfarer came to the rescue because who knows what that restaurant owner would have done. He looked so angry. Miss Wayfarer said, I'm so sorry. We couldn't find any food in the dumpster tonight. Oh my gosh, she looks so upset. He said, it's okay. I'm just glad you're both safe. He said, I didn't find much either, just one sandwich. I mean, hey, at least he found something. Miss Wayfarer said, you should take it, Eliza. Wait, but but what what about y'all? Mr. Wayfarer said, you're right, here, Eliza. And Miss Wayfarer said, we'll be okay. And he said, don't worry about that. We've gone without food before. We're used to it. Uh, guys, that is so sad. He said, you're still a kid who needs to eat to grow up healthy. I'm just gonna say, uh, thank you so much. Guys, I feel so bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not want to eat the dumpster sandwich, but I also don't want to ruin the moment. Mr. Wayfarer said, we're gonna go sleep now so we can get up early to find more food. You should get some sleep too as soon as you're done eating. Just gonna say, uh, got it. Uh, good night. 
I miss Wayfarer said good night, Eliza. Okay, guys, there is no denying it now. Mr. and Mrs. Wayfarer are clearly some of the best parents I've ever met. At first, all I wanted to do was show them that they can be great parents no matter what that rich guy says. But now I think my plans have changed a little bit. Okay, they do not deserve to live like this, and I want to help change their lives. Okay, you guys, it is morning now, and both of my parents just left to go find food. I spent the entire night trying to come up with a way to change their lives and finally figured something out. I am just waiting for someone to arrive. Oh, there she is. There she is, guys. It is my best friend, Maddie. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be perfect. Maddie said, I just got everything set up. Okay, guys, the first step to changing my new family's life is by getting them into a real house, but... Since they probably won't take free handouts, I have to play a little bit of a trick on them. But it's totally harmless, okay? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Wayfair just said we're back. I'm just gonna say yay. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. It is go time. Miss Wayfair just said, who is this lady? Okay, guys, they seem very concerned that a stranger is in their home, but that makes sense that because they're good parents. Maddie said, hi, I'm here because your daughter won a contest. I'm just gonna say a really big contest. Miss Wayfair just said, uh, a contest? And Mr. Wayfair said, what contest? What What did our daughter win? Maddie just whispered to me and said, um, bestie, I didn't prepare this far ahead. I wasn't expecting so many questions. So I'm just gonna say, uh, honestly, uh, me, me neither. Um, but, uh, but don't worry. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, okay? Oh, oh, I got it. I'm just gonna say, um, I went to look for food this morning too. And I found a chocolate bar with a golden ticket in it. Like Willy Wonka. And Maddie just said, that's right. Okay, they're seeming a little skeptical of this. You just said a golden ticket, huh? Miss Wayfair said, what did you win? Maddie said, the finder of the golden ticket wins a brand new house. But since she's not old enough, the reward goes to you guys. That is perfect, you guys. That is a perfect idea. Come on. Mr. Wayfair said, what? There's no way someone is giving away a house in a candy bar. I don't believe you. Wait. Oh, no. Guys, I didn't expect them to question it this much. Maddie said, everything is legit. I can even take you to the house right now. Come on, guys. I didn't expect this reaction at all, so it looks like I'm going to have to convince them. Oh, Mr. Wayfair said, you're some kind of scammer. Eliza, get away from that woman right now. Oh, oh no, guys. Okay, I had a plan B. I didn't want to use it, but I'm just going to say, please, 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 please. I, I want to see my... Prize. Come on, come on. And then, and then here we go. I'm just gonna start crying. Come on, please. Mr. Wafer just said, oh no, don't cry, Eliza. I'm just gonna say, I wanna see the prize. Come on, please. If we just, if we can get them to just see the house, they will see that this is not a scam. Maddie said, I promise the prize is real. Miss Wafer said, I know, honey, but we can't be sure. I'm just gonna say, uh, I can be sure if I see it. Oh, Mr. Wafer just said, okay, okay, we'll go with you. Yes. Perfect. Okay, guys, the waterworks worked. Maybe after this, I should become an actress. Okay, you guys, we are almost to the house. They are going to be so shocked when they see it. Here we go, you guys. Come on, I am so hyped. Miss Wayfair just said, what the? Maddie said, welcome to your new home. Guys, it is literally so cute. Mr. Wayfair said, there's no way. Stop pranking us like this. It's not funny. And even Miss Wafer said, this is the prize. There's no way this is real. I'm just gonna say, I don't think it's a prank. And Maddie said, it's not a prank. This house is really yours. And literally just handed Mr. Wayfair the keys. Mr. Wayfair said, what? Really? Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I, I knew this would be a big moment for them, but I didn't expect both of them to start crying. I'm just gonna say, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. Miss Wayfair just said, I can't believe it. Are we dreaming? Maddie just said, let's go inside. Oh, perfect idea. Yes, let's go see what the house looks like on the inside. All righty, here we go. Look at this house. It is so cute. Honestly, you guys, the inside is even nicer than I expected. I didn't actually get a chance to walk through all of this. We just kind of planned it really last minute. Guys, now that I think about it, I'm going to whisper to Maddie. I'm going to say, how, how much did this cost? Guys, I'm obviously paying for this out of my own pocket, and um, Maddie picked out a pretty nice house. Maddie just said, uh, yeah, uh, don't worry about that. Oh, that's not reassuring at all, but doesn't matter since Mr. and Mrs. Wayfair seem to absolutely love it. Miss Wayfair said there's even a swing for little Eliza. Guys, they look so happy in like a crying sort of way. Miss Wayfair said this is the best thing that's ever happened to us. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. 
And Mr. Wayfair said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have called you a scammer. I mean, honestly, I probably would have thought it was a scam too. We didn't, we didn't really have a great lie set up. Maddie just said, it's okay. Will you guys accept the award? And they just said, of course, yes, perfect. Guys, I cannot believe they are actually going to be able to live here. Miss Wayfair said, ever since we adopted Eliza, she's been our little good luck charm. Oh my gosh, you guys. And now that they have a home, their lives can begin changing even more. Okay, you guys, I am with my mom in the kitchen and it has been a few days. We are all very, very nervous. We've been living here for a while and as part of changing their lives, I helped organize a job interview for Mr. Wayfair and we even managed to, to get a couple of new outfits, which has been really helpful, but I am pretty nervous about this interview. We haven't gotten a call from Mr. Wayfair at all, so we're just waiting on him to get home. Miss Wayfair said, I hope he gets the job. I'm just gonna say me too. Guys, even though I helped set it up, I have no control over how the actual job interview goes, but I hope he does get it, because if he doesn't, it'll really hurt his confidence. Oh, wait, I just heard the car pull up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's him, but guys, he looks kind of serious. That could only mean bad news. Otherwise, he would be smiling a lot more. Oh no. He just said, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, he didn't get the job. Oh, that sucks. Miss Wayfair just said, oh honey, it's okay. There's always next time and oh, wait. What? He just said, I'm sorry I won't get to spend as much time with you enjoying this wonderful house since I'll be so busy at my new job. Guys, he did get the job. He just totally tricked us. I'm just gonna say that's amazing. Yes. He just said the job has a great salary, full benefits, and once I get my first paycheck, I'm taking you both shopping. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Miss Wayfair said this is amazing news. Congrats, honey. Mr. Wayfair said, life has really been amazing lately. I can't wait to see what life has in store for our happy little family. Oh no, guys. I, I just realized I've been so busy helping change their lives that I totally forgot that eventually I'm gonna have to reveal my identity. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay. It's been a week now and today is the day I have to tell my parents the truth. Mr. Wayfarer finally has a day off and I've been trying to figure out the best way to break the news to them, but I've decided I just need to be straightforward and tell them everything, all right? So here we go. Oh gosh, guys, I am so nervous. All right. They're in the living room right now. Okay, this could totally break their hearts. I'm just gonna say, um, hey, uh, can I can I talk to y'all for a second? And Miss Wayfair said, oh, hi, honey. Of course, we always have time to talk to you. And Mr. Wayfair said, for you, we have all the time in the world. What's up, guys? They are so nice. I'm just gonna say, I have uh, something important to say, but... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Miss Wayfair said, oh, don't be scared, love. Whatever it is, we're sure it's not that bad. Uh, it's pretty bad. Um, okay, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna say, um, I am not actually a uh, kid and I wasn't actually uh, needing to be adopted. Uh, here we go. I'm just gonna say, I'm, I'm actually, uh, Carrie, that, that woman who helped you in the city that day. Mr. Wayfair said, what, Eliza, what are you talking about? Is this a prank? I'm just gonna say no, it's a, it, it's not a prank. Um, I'm gonna say originally I, I did it to, uh, to show you that you could be amazing parents and deserved a family, but then I, I wanted to help change your lives, so, everything else happened. Guys, they look so shocked. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna say, um, please don't hate me for this. I, I, I really, I really just wanted y'all to know that, that you would be great parents. Mr. Wafer said, we aren't mad at you. Wait, really? He said, we understand why you did what you did. How could we be mad when our lives have changed so much for the better? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just gonna say, I am so happy to hear that. I'm gonna say because because you deserve everything you have right now. Y'all are amazing people. Miss Wayfair just said, do you really think we're good parents? I'm just gonna say 100% the best. And Mr. Wayfair just said, in that case, I think we should go adopt a real child. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say that's a great idea. Guys, I am so glad I could help change their lives.